Hold on. Hold on. Something's coming. Something's coming out of here. Look, there's a bird, dude. It knows what's good. I'm telling you, I just heard it inside. I shall tell you of a man who wanted simply freedom for the people of his land, who fought for others rather than himself, who fought only because he knew it was right. His story began before he even arrived in this land when the king of Foley died. The king died without a son, and the king of Shrine, a cruel pagan known as Edward the Mad Son, claimed the throne of Foley for himself. Foley's nobles fought him, so Edward invited them to talks of truce. No weapons, one page only, and signed away their freedom. That forced them under the thumb of a tyrant. But history may soon change with the arrival of William Wallace. Son of Scotland and Patriarch of the Feet, and you? Marion. Just Marion. So, do you want me to show you around? No. So for starters, you need to know about the hierarchy here. Each class has a lord. Freshmen have Lord McDonald. Sophomores have Lord Tomlin. Juniors have Robert the Bruce. And seniors have Joseph Fallon. Hey, do you know any of them? Um, Robert. He's a pretty nice guy. Um, he's not really a leader. His father's still in charge. Mm. Are you, what's that going on over there? <laughs> Looks like he could use a good crick in the teeth. You don't. Why not? Why do, don't you want to fight them too? We all want to, but we can't. Why? Why not? The knights will kill you. Who are the knights? They come from a far off land west of Woodward. Their army has conquered us and has been ruling over us for about 25 years. They have their soldiers enforce their laws and tyrannical rule over us and keep us under their control from rebelling. But let's not worry about that. You don't want to hear about all the sad stuff on your first day. Come on, I'll show you around. All right. People, let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted person who loved me till the end of people. Let me tell you about my best friend. He's a one-boy cuddly toy. My up, my down, my pride and joy. People, let me tell you about him. He's so much fun. Whether we're talking man to man or whether we're talking son to son. Cause he's my best friend. Yeah, he's my best friend. That. Look at what? Flat. I'm tired of them. I'm tired of them bossing us around. Well, what do you suggest we do? I've been thinking about that a lot, actually. Of course you have. I'm going to fight them. <laughs> Oh! 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 Oh!
Looks like you needed help there, my friend. Hi. But who are you? Well, my name is Steven, and I was escaping the law from Notre Dame. But my friends call me Steven the Irish as a joke. Oh, and that's my friend Hamish. They're out of Cheez-Its. Maddie, and I'm sorry. I failed you, but I will end you. Are you okay? Let me answer your question with a question. Do you want the knights dead? Why? Are you planning a rebellion? That's exactly what I was thinking. You called this meeting. No, McDonald did. McDonald's not even here. Oh. Yeah, who even cares what the freshmen have to say? Well, then who did call this meeting? I did. Who are you? I am William Wallace. And I want the knights dead. Are you mad? You have no hope of defeating the knights. I wasn't planning on fighting it alone. I wanted to ask you, Lords of Foley, to unite your troops to fight for our freedom. That would be suicide. The knights would tear us apart at a moment's notice. Maybe it is. But think of all the terrible things they've done to us. Slaughtered our people. Enslaved us. And taken our lands and homes. And taken our families from us. Now I ask you, what more could we lose? Let's do it. Alright. What are your plans? We're going to go castle by castle, destroying all the resources so they can't use them. And then, when they're weak, hit them where it hurts them most. Father, I need a favor. It's not true. It's what do you want, my son? You've heard of William Wallace, right? That guy who's, like, trying to take down Edward? He's trying to rally an army. If, if we help him, we can take down Edward. We can free Foley. You expect me to send my troops to support a madman to fight the most powerful army in the world? No, that will not do. Instead, I have a better idea. Father, I will not fight for Edward. He's an idiot. I will not allow you to throw away your life, your inheritance, and claim to the throne away. I will not let you f die fighting in a frivolous cause. Now this is what you will do. Where's Brady? My lord, we have a problem. I'm sure it'll sort itself out. Actually, sir, it's the Ventures. They're preparing for war. Who are you and what do you want? Yeah, I'm the princess. I'm like the daughter of the king. And I think my grandfather's like fan ass or something. Hey, uh, what do you want? Yeah, I was gonna help you, but... Really? Yeah, I'm super serial. Edward is gonna stab you dead. He didn't do it by like cutting through exchange park. You gotta stop him, man! Well then, let's chop off some heads. I hear we are out number three to one. Well, we didn't just come here so they could take our land. Stop! Do not flee! I am William Wallace! William Wallace is ten feet tall. So I've heard. And if he was here, he could swim the night and shoot fireballs from his eyes. But I am William Wallace, and I see a whole army of my countrymen here in defiance of tyranny to fight as free men. The free men you are. What will you do without your freedom? Will you fight? Against all that, we will be slaughtered. So we will run. And we will live. I fight and you may die. 
run and you'll live, at least for a while. But many years from now, in your deathbeds and dying, would you be willing to trade from this day to that one chance, just one chance, to show our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Ah! Okay. Hey, boss, where are you going? To finish our business. Go get him. I'm sorry. I had to. You have to run. You have to run, Wallace. Come on, up! Come on, up! You have to run. Go that way as fast as you can. There's reinforcements coming. Go! I cannot believe I let you talk me into fighting for our enemies! I did what I had to do. I did this so that one day you can sit on the throne and be the king of it. Wallace is trying to give them what is right. He's trying to do what is right. To get rid of Edward. And if you can't see that, then I don't know. Yeah, miss. Oh, Vivian, Robert was looking for you. I told him I thought you was the woods. Oh, then I have it a moment to lose. Go, Vivian! He's in the man cave! <sighs> no! You are safe, my son. We finally have that man-man in custody. You may still rule on the throne. No. I have no father anymore. It's time for the execution, boy! Are you ready to die? Don't get your head chopped off, so don't realize. <laughs> Grab it. Alright, get on. Oh, wait, we're going that way. Okay, let's go. Move! Move, Chilly Power! Move! 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 The quicker the better. Everyone's been wanting you dead for a long time. 
Move, chill it, knuckle move. Get in, baby. Beg for your forgiveness and you'll feel no more. <laughs> Where is Wallace, Edward? I sent him to the pit, where he can think about his behavior. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? A man remains conscious through such pain. Enough! It only clear the soreness. Wallace may not be able to kill you. It can all end right now. Bless, peace, just say it, cry out, mercy, yes, yes. The prisoner wishes to say a word. Freedom! But someday, I will. You walk out of this room, and you lose everything. I may lose everything, but my people have everything to gain. him. I ask only that you bleed with me. One last time. Our Lord, 2018, Patriots of Foley, starving and outnumbered, charged the fields at Shrine. They fought like warrior poets, they fought like ventures, and won their freedom.